Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Rafik. I'll be showing you how to set up the Hamilton C1. All right, everything should come in a package looking just like this. As you can see, this is an expiratory valve cover that needs to come off. It should look just like this out the back, okay? There's a little diaphragm here. You wanna make sure that it stays on there, nice and flush. Out the bag, set it down, and turn, okay? There's also two filters that you need to have to set it up. It'll be in a package like that, and it goes on there, okay? Okay? This little guy here is to do the flow sensor test. You don't want to make sure that it doesn't hit the floor right out the bag. All right, blue to blue, white to clear, okay? So that's the end product, what it should look like right out the bag, okay? <clears throat> you want to go ahead and push the power button for startup. Wait 30 seconds in the bottom for the self-check to complete. As you can see, the soft check will take a little time while it does. All right, here we go, almost there. All right, self check is complete. So this is what your main screen will look like. There's a vent and a BiPAP set it on here. The vent mode is for adult and pediatric okay but first you want to do the pre-check being that we just put a brand new circuit on there you want to check the tightness by simply tap on tightness follow the prompt in the bottom disconnect patient now it says tighten patient system That's it going to the max pressure to make sure there's no leak in the system. Patient patient's already connected. There, once you have a green check, that means it's passed. If you have a red X, that means it fails, okay? It will tell you the time and date it was done also. Next is the flow sensor check. And that one is not the flow sensor. That's the oxygen. <laughs> but okay, we'll let it calibrate, even though we haven't done that one in a while. sensor not a little sensor flow sensor calibration the O2 sensor one um, don't really have to calibrate all the time but while we hit it here we'll just go ahead and add it in but you don't have to do this one maybe once a year but if there's a prompt that comes up on the screen that something is wrong with the O2 sensor then you can go ahead and do this one but for time being, we'll let it finish its process just to show you what it would look like in the event that it had to do it. But I'll disregard the O2 cell calibration.
Yeah. All right, and that is the longest one of all. All right, let's try to do this again without hitting that one. Flow sense of calibration. There you go. It's gonna say disconnect patient. Go ahead and take that cap off. Put that one on. It's gonna say turn flow sensor. Go ahead and turn it right away. Looking like that. And you wait and you watch for the maneuver prompts. All right, it says turn full sensor again. Go ahead and turn the whole thing. Make sure that still stays on there if you want. Try not to block the flow sensor area while it's going. Make sure it stays free and clear. As you can see, we've got another green check. I mean, this passed. You can take this off and flip it onto the side. Okay. There we go. And that's it. Then you can exit out of it. Now you're ready to start ventilation for the vent or BiPAP setup, okay? It's already pre-checked for the vent setup at a volume of 490, five a peep, and 50%. And also, in the controls, if you want a rate of 12, it's already pre-checked there for you for a rate of 12. At any given time, the doctor wants the rate to be bumped up, you can go ahead and press and increase the rate that way and close out. Okay? So the other attachment is the Ballard and the HME. You want to make sure it's safe, HME, and you attach it there. That's it. Now it's ready to be placed on the patient. Start ventilation. And there it is. This would be the patient too. To be connected right there. The next button you want to know is alarm silence until you can figure out what's happened to the vent. I'm going to ask my assistant to hold this for a second. Thank you very much. <clears throat> As you can see, it's alarming O2 supply failed. You want to make sure this is connected over here. So in the event the doctor wants to bump the patient oxygen up, <coughs> you tap, turn, and tap again. That'll be it. Okay? If you have to go on a transport, you disconnect from wall. Oh man, our old thing that is. Okay, there should be an O2 tank on the back here. You just screw this onto it, and then that's it. You go for the transport. You want to make sure there is actually a full tank you're working with all the time. In the tank. Check on your alarms by touching the alarms. It will tell you which what's been alarming for the last few times. To clear it, you just hit reset and X out. Okay, here is your alarm button. Here are all your different alarms. You can hit auto adjust and it will adjust to whatever is alarming. Okay. I'm a bit afraid of squeeze. 
All right, and that's how you set up a Hamilton C1, ready to go. With the pre-select settings already there for you. If you're trying to change mode, non-invasive, confirm. Change the numbers you want for the bike app. 10 over 5, 100%, confirm. Now we're in bypass mode. So this is what is pre-selected for the patient, and this is how